Aeroplanes represent a pinnacle of modern engineering, propelling us from tentative flights of mere seconds to effortlessly ferrying hundreds across continents. In this exploration of aviation marvels, we delve into the realm of the largest aircraft ever constructed. While the renowned Airbus A380 reigns as the largest passenger jet, other colossal planes and transport behemoths also captivate the imagination. Considering factors like length, weight, volume, and wingspan, we present a curated list showcasing these engineering wonders. So buckle up as we embark on a journey through the top 10 largest planes ever made, marveling at the ingenuity and innovation that have propelled humanity into the skies. The Airbus A380 holds records for passenger capacity, volume, weight, and wingspan. Despite its impressive engineering, its practicality for airlines has been mixed. While Emirates found success with its hub-based model, most carriers struggled, citing the rise of twin-engine aircraft and a shift away from hub-and-spoke operations. The pandemic further dimmed prospects, prompting some early retirements. However, as air travel rebounds, some airlines have reinstated their A380S, yet finding new roles for retired aircraft remains challenging. While HiFly briefly used one for charters, its potential in cargo is limited, and its size hinders private jet or VIP transport applications. Despite its grandeur, the A380's future seems constrained by changing industry dynamics. The 747, alongside the A380, stands as one of the largest passenger jets, with the latest 747, eight being slightly longer, but with a lower maximum capacity of 605 passengers. Originally developed with a full-length upper deck, safety concerns led to modifications. Pan Am's initial order kick-started its production, with subsequent variants like the Minus 400 becoming popular. January 31st marked the delivery of the final 747 to Atlas Air, culminating in 54 years of production and 1,574 aircraft made. Joe Sutter, the aircraft's visionary, led its development, leaving an indelible mark on aviation. Simple flying captured the emotional final moments, including a symbolic flight path in the shape of a crown to honor the queen of the skies. The event saw tributes from industry figures and descendants of aviation legends, emphasizing the 747's enduring legacy. Boeing's highly anticipated 777X, notably the 777-9 variant, emerges as a groundbreaking addition to the aviation landscape. With a remarkable length exceeding 76 meters and a seating capacity of up to 426 passengers, it promises to rival the iconic 747 as the longest passenger aircraft in history. Setting a new standard, the 777X distinguishes itself by featuring twin-engine technology, powered by the colossal GE9X engines, surpassing even the dimensions of a Boeing 737 fuselage. Scheduled for delivery in 2025, the 777X's journey has been marked by challenges, including engine and structural testing issues compounded by pandemic-induced production delays. Nevertheless, anticipation remains high, particularly among key customers like Emirates and Qatar Airways, with the latter hopeful for an expedited delivery timeline. Air India's significant order further underscores the industry's confidence in this next-generation aircraft. While the era of large quadjet commercial planes may be waning, the 777X paves the way for unparalleled efficiency and capacity in twin-engine aviation. Following the destruction of Gostomel Airport during the early days of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the iconic Antonov An-225 Maria, once the largest operational aircraft, lies in ruins near Kyiv. However, the An-124, another impressive creation by Antonov, retains its status as one of the largest commercially developed freighters. Launched in 1982, 55 of these behemoths have been built. Despite its slightly smaller size compared to the AN-225, the AN-124 held the title of the heaviest commercially produced aircraft until the introduction of the 747. 8. As of May 2023, data indicates that 18 AN-124 aircraft remain active. The majority are operated by the Russian Air Force, with two serving in Russian cargo specialist Volga Dnepr's fleet. Antonov Airlines, Ukraine's freight specialist, still operates four units, while UAE-based Maximus Air Cargo possesses one. The C-5 Galaxy, a colossal military transporter crafted by Lockheed, soared into service in 1970, dwarfing its predecessors like the C-130 Hercules. Stretching over 75 meters long, it outstrips both the A-380 and the AN-124, boasting a hefty 127-ton payload capacity and in-flight refueling for extended ranges. While newer giants like the Boeing C-17 Globemaster have emerged, none match the sheer size of the C-5. Intriguingly, 
Lockheed once envisioned a grander successor, the VLST, Very Large Subsonic Transport, proposed in the 1990s, but never realized. Envisioned with dual decks, four aisles, and space for up to 900 passengers, it represented an ambitious leap in aviation, though it remained confined to the realm of concepts. The Beluga XL, while technically a modification of the Airbus A330, stands out as one of the largest and most prominent aircraft regularly seen in operation. With a fuselage volume of 2,209 cubic meters, it surpasses Boeing's Dreamlifter, which holds 1,840 cubic meters. Airbus developed the Beluga series to transport its aircraft components efficiently across various locations. The original Beluga, introduced in 1995, was based on the A300 airframe and primarily served A340 construction. The Beluga XL, derived from the A330-200, emerged in the early 2000s to accommodate larger A350 components. This strategic evolution in aircraft design underscores Airbus's commitment to streamlining its manufacturing processes and meeting the demands of modern aviation. Boeing's Dreamlifter, a modified 747-400, revolutionizes transporting aircraft parts with its innovative tail swing door. Launched in 2007, its fleet of four facilitates the seamless delivery of Boeing 787 components worldwide. Despite its enormity, it falls short in some metrics compared to rivals. The Beluga XL surpasses it in fuselage volume, while the 747, 8 outdoes it in length. Though its payload capacity exceeds the Beluga XLs, it pales in comparison to the legendary AN-225. Nonetheless, the Dreamlifter remains a vital link in Boeing's supply chain, ensuring efficient assembly of their flagship aircraft. The Hughes H-4 Hercules, famously known as the Spruce Goose, stands as one of aviation's most iconic marvels. Originally envisioned as a WW2 transport, it boasted impressive capabilities, including the ability to carry 750 troops or two M4 tanks. Despite its grandeur, it only took to the skies in 1947, missing its wartime role. With a remarkable wingspan of 97.8 meters, second only to the Strata launch, and powered by eight Pratt & Whitney engines, the Spruce Goose symbolized engineering ambition. Notably, its wooden fuselage was a wartime necessity to conserve metals. Although limited to one prototype in test flights, the Spruce Goose endures as a testament to Howard Hughes's ingenuity. Today, it rests in the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, Oregon, captivating visitors with its sheer scale and historic significance. The Strata launch, officially named the Scaled Composites Model 351, boasts the widest wingspan ever recorded in aviation history at 117 meters, dwarfing the previous record held by the AN-225. With twin fuselages spanning 73 meters each, it's a marvel of engineering. Borrowing heavily from the technology of the 747, 400, its six engines are a testament to its power. Originally designed to carry rockets for orbital launches, the project faced setbacks following the death of founder Paul Allen. However, under new ownership by Cerberus Capital Management, its purpose shifted to serving as a platform for hypersonic flight research. Despite delays, the Strata launch resumed test flights in April 2021, though its sixth flight encountered unexpected issues. Nevertheless, its potential for advancing aerospace technology remains promising. The AN-225 Maria, translating to dream in Ukrainian, stands as a marvel of engineering with a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. First taking flight in 1988, its wings span an impressive 88.4 meters, with a length of 84 meters. Solely one and 225 was ever completed. A second remained unfinished due to the Soviet Union's collapse. Tragically, the operational AN-225 was destroyed during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. Plans to rebuild it for $500 million were announced by the Ukrainian manufacturer, aiming for restitution from Russia. Once gracing the skies from the Antonov plant's airdrome in Gostomol, Ukraine, it met its end during the Battle of Antonov Airport. However, with efforts to complete the second unit, there's hope to witness this colossal aircraft soar again. Wow, what a journey through the skies exploring the top 10 largest aeroplanes ever made. Don't miss out on more incredible content. Subscribe to Archie Talks now and keep soaring with us.